Thank you, Gorana. I know you weren't expecting me, but you're getting me. <laughs> um, so if you, if you don't want to stay, um, I'll, I'll be, um, I'll understand. Um, but yeah, we, as you know, some people had to cancel in the last minute, and we, um, in the user group and generally in the program committee, tried to find backups for situations like this. So this is one of the backups. <laughs> um, I can use the clicker. So um, we wanted to do a short 10 to 15, 15 minute session to sort of brainstorm uh, the ideas because um, we wanted to continue with our uh, open meetings that are organized by the user group and we wanted your help in doing so. Um, so yeah, I'm Philip, this is my username, my affiliation for this topic. <laughs> so I wanted to give a brief overview of what we've done so far in terms of these open meetings. And you can actually find the link laser doesn't work on TV, but you can find the link here. Uh, it's on YouTube eduwiki, at eduwiki.ug slash videos. That's the list of videos that have been produced um, by the user group. And these streams will also be there once they're finished. Um, so we have several, I think about 11 streams. The format of these um, videos of these uh, meetings that we've had so far is that we always have introductions from participants so we have about 10 to 20 participants or maybe some sometimes more who introduce themselves tell you know where they're from uh, which affiliate they belong to or affiliates what their names are name is um, and maybe some things that they are doing in their own locale then we give updates from the user group board we tell, um, we, we give information about what are what have been the latest developments, what were our uh, activities, and then we have featured speakers. That's basically the the main point of these meetings to sort of um, feature some people who have done great work in the education uh, environment, uh, in Wikipedia or Wikimedia in general, but might, people might not have heard of their successes. So we want to highlight them and, and their work. So this is the timeline. Our first meeting was in June 2019. Uh, Liana, our chair currently, uh, had um, talked about how to scale an education program, basically talking about Weekend Foundation. Um, and Krishna from India also talked. Um, then we had Florencia, who's here somewhere, um, and um, Goran from, from Serbia, who's, who at that time was employed with Wikimedia Deutschland. Uh, about Wikidata. Um, then January next year, we had Shani, you've all seen and heard of her, and Andrew Lardy um, from, from uh, Africa, Ghana. Then Nicole and Melissa uh, talked about their Wikimedia Foundation education team and um, a Portuguese, or uh, rather a Brazilian, I'm sorry, <laughs> there's a difference, uh, a Brazilian uh, graduate student talked about um, his um, project. Then we had March, so we had a jump to 2021. Uh, Masab, who's also here, talks about uh, his activities in the Hashemite University, and Zico, who's also here, about Klaxicon. Then we had June 21, Maxwell from Ghana, and uh, Rocio from Chile. Then we had October, Thomas Shafi from New Zealand, I believe. And Amanda Rust, uh, and Amy Ruskin from Northeastern and the US. March 2022, quite recently, Nabusha, you've heard him <laughs> uh, quite recently um, about our program. And uh, Anthony, uh, who is not here but was supposed to be here, um, he, uh, they talked about their pairing in the mentorship program that we've had um, previously. And we had Jacqueline, who's here, <laughs> and Clara, who's also here somewhere, uh, talk about their local activities. And November, um, we had a general assembly. Um, some of you might remember that. And Ewan talked about <coughs> Wikipedia in residence in Edinburgh. 
So that's it. Um, we stopped in November because at that point we knew that we had to uh, commit full time to organizing this conference, which took a lot of time. Um, and we as a user group just didn't have the capacity to uh, devote time towards these meetings. So we decided to uh, resume them after the conference. Since after the conference is in three days, uh, we wanted to make sure that that happens. Um, so uh, this is basically a brainstorming session where, we, where you can pitch ideas, either people or groups, affiliates, programs, whatever. And we can discuss whether, you know, uh, and include them and make a to-do list. The idea with these meetings is to organize them semi-regularly, so once every two or three months. Uh, as you see, they have been up, there, are, there have been ups and downs, so sometimes regularly, sometimes not, depending on our availability. But I hope we can do something, in, if not in June or July, but then in September. Uh, we don't want to clash with Wikimania, for example, and uh, huge events like that. Yes, I think another meeting is long overdue. And maybe uh, uh, the first topic will be a review of this conference. That makes sense. So without further ado, um, let's hear your ideas. Do you have any? Do you know of someone? Do, do you yourself think you should be featured? The floor is yours. Come on, Florence, I know you're thinking about something. <laughs> let's, let's hear that. I can sit here. Of course, my first, my first thought, I'd love to be one of the featured speaker at some point in the future. But to talk to about the Wiki Challenge in Africa, I saw that there were a couple of uh, talks uh, about Kiwis, Kiwis related, but I, I could talk about one of the program that is being done on, in an offline situation. So it's a little bit different. But sure. one of the thinking I had is, I noticed uh, in the people you invited, it's always Wikimedian. Have you ever thought of inviting uh, a cool person from one of the education, education global organization uh, to come and talk about something. Uh, because I don't know how you select the people you invite. Is it just because they are part of the group, you know them, and you think it would be a cool idea to invite them? Or, or is there a system where they can, people can actually propose themselves? And have you been thinking beyond Wikipedia or not? Yeah, good questions. Um, so far, it, it was mostly word of mouth. We know of someone, we know of someone that knows someone. So we got referrals and that's how we selected people. There was no agenda, there was no system. Basically, when we thought that someone was doing something cool that we heard of, we wanted to, them to, to be featured. So this is another opportunity to sort of broad, broaden that horizon and include as many people as, as possible. And um, we don't have any policy, so I think non-Wikipedian but cool people. Um, that they're doing cool stuff are absolutely um, okay to be featured as well. So, how long have, how long are the meetings typically? So they're about uh, an hour and a half. That includes the introductions and the um, board updates, which take fifteen to twenty minutes. So then we have about half an hour per person. That would be my other questions. I noticed that there was only uh, one feedback from the board since 2019. Uh, is there other um, events where there are specific uh, um, return feedback from the board, or is it the only one that was provided since 2019? What do you mean feedback from the board? Uh, I, I saw that in one of the sessions there was a... A general assembly, you mean? Yeah, the general assembly. Is it otherwise present, uh, done separately from these open meetings, or is... Yes, previously we, we, we've done general assemblies separately, but mm -hmm. we decided to merge the two, um, and we will do so from now on. Uh, every general assemblies are uh, held in October, November, every two years, so <laughs> 2024 is the next um, time. And the last question would be, uh, if there are uh, in the pitch, uh, could there be some, some something like news? So I know there's the education newsletter, mm -hmm. but uh, a pitch for a special conferences that occur in the in the education space sure. is is it something that sure. has been? Yeah? There, there's no limit. Basically, what we've done so far, the featured uh, person is was the 
let's say, easiest way to sort of um, bring a topic up, right? But it doesn't have to be that way. It, it, it can be like a 10 minute slot uh, announcing a, um, a conference or an event or whatever. I mean, we're pretty flexible. There's no written formula, um, whatever we all feel. And this is a way to um, sort of include the community more um, with the ideas and with the pitches, as you call them. Um, so anything that works, that anything that could be useful for the audience is fine by us. Oh, yeah. uh, I was thinking uh, that maybe we could invite some teachers uh, who are new to Wikipedia but have already done something. Uh, we tried it uh, two months ago in Poland that we invited school librarians who are really new. They have started. This, uh, they started this year working with us, and they really make beautiful short talks uh, about. I was astonished. I didn't even know <laughs> that this is going on at the schools. Only part of them. Uh, so it was the, the ideas. They 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 look very different way on everything and in, involved uh, students like they are 12, 13 years old. So maybe as a cool persons outside, but new to our uh, movement, maybe some short speech like seven minutes lightning talks from few countries or maybe regularly like uh, once in two months from another country or maybe at once from three, uh, like three lightning talks from three different countries, from three different teachers, something like this. So Absolutely. Also, then we can invite teachers to this uh, event online, yes? So. Yeah. Um, thank you. I mean, that, that's perfect. That's something that... Go on. Um, that's something that, uh, that makes absolute sense and um, it's something that we can uh, definitely incorporate. As I said, there's no fixed format. We've just used something that worked um, and never challenged it, but um, it's definitely something that we, that we can uh, talk about and <laughs> this is what we're doing. So I'm, I'm also inviting everyone to write to, um, to my email. That, that was just easiest <laughs> at this point. Um, if you have any more ideas so that um, I can um, relate them back to the user group and, um, and especially if you have concrete per people in mind so I know this person and that person, this is their email, this is their contribution, I think they would be great for this. Absolutely send them you know, in, in bunches, don't, don't be afraid. And um, I'm sure we, we will find ways and, and um, formats to include them. Not everyone needs to talk half an hour. As you said, it can be lightning talks, it can be short pitches, whatever you know, people are comfortable with. Um, sometimes, as you see these, um, uh, these, yeah, we have two minutes. Um, uh, if you go to the YouTube, um, hopefully you can see this on the stream as well. Um, so if you go there, you can see that they're mostly between an hour and an hour and a half. So hour and a half is like the top limit. We don't want to take too much time from people, but sometimes they're shorter. So, you know, if we plan hour and a half, but we have content for one and 10, we, we can fill that out with, with more content. So um, that is to say, please <laughs> give us your um, suggestions and we will gladly include them. Anyone else in the remaining minute? <laughs> okay. Maybe it's important that the student receive some kind of rewards because after they finish the school or the university, they want to continue because when and they remember that they uh, was in the school, it's a good experience. And in Spanish, is, they have el bicho para continuar editando. They have the, the feeling, no? it's a good experience. So you suggest students to give their uh, experience? Mm -hmm. Great. We're running out of time, but thank you for this. And as I said, please continue writing if you think of someone, especially concrete people, that you think would be great to showcase to the world. 
um, and we'll gladly include them. Thank you.